Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4. This episode we're going to see if we can find a village, but first we're going to do some fishing at the end of the last episode and I've been doing AFK fishing between times. Unfortunately I lost my uh, extremely good rod <laughs> and it broke because I went I was away from the keyboard too long and it, there were too many items in the hopper and I think it just broke. That was a shame. And the gold fishing rod I made last time didn't have very much durability. It was only five, 50, so it didn't last very long either. And then I made an iron one and that sort of broke. But they don't disappear. They're, they're these fishing rods from Aquamunda, they, oh no, what's it called? I can't remember the name of the mod. Hold on a second. Let's have a look at what we've actually got for loot. So you can see here I've got a whole load of barrels. In fact, I've got barrels on both sides. So it's the agriculture. Um, loot. I've got a load of fish, of course. We've got lots of fish coming through here. Even seven goldfish. Uh, and 12 tropical fish. And of course, we get raw card and raw salmon, which is standard. I think they're Minecraft ones. Yep, yeah, they are. And they've got an overflow of those. Then you get the normal sort of extra bits and pieces. But you get these as well treasure chests from Aqua. And lock boxes from Aquaculture 2 as well. And you get these messages in the bottle which are actually not that interesting, and driftwood, which you can use the same as logs. And then you get your standard stuff like this. Then, of course, you get your whole set of leather boots, which I'm not sure got much use. And then you get some bows. So some of these bows are pretty good, like this Unbreaking True Shot 2. That might well be worth adding to this one, because I've got a Power 4 mending bow on here. This actually makes it go better, but we'll leave it for the time being. Then I've got an Infinity one. Infinity and Breaking 4 you can't put with Mending, so that will come and do this together. We've got another Power 4, so we can make a Power 5 bow. And we've got a Magnet and Soulbound bow. We've got quite a few decent ones in another one. I'm not sure I need that one. Get rid of that one. Curse of Foolishness. And another Infinity bow. So it did quite well with the bows, but not very well with the fishing rods. And these are interesting as well. These are from um, Tombstone. Corral tombstones, which are basically trans. And as you can see, when I've got those in my hot bar, you take. Uh, when you're in the inventory, you take damage. And this uh, every once in a while, these will open, and as they open, they basically give you damage. Well, I want them open anyway, so I'll have a look at that in a second. And then in here, nothing. In here, some saddles. In here, some enchanted books. We've got some good, reasonably good enchanted books in here. Um, and then in here we've got these, these Neptune's Bounties from Aquaculture 2. So let's get have a look at these Aquaculture 2. Let's put everything that we've got in our inventory here, because that's going to fill up our inventory with a slot. And I'm going to just simply put these down one at a time, and we're going to open them, and then... Um, what time is it? Daytime is all right. Good. Oh, and I've got a silkworm here as well. I went and just broke some leaves, and you get a silkworm. So let's put these down. Oops. Hello. <laughs> I haven't got any weapons with me except for this axe. So we'll have to sort it out with this axe. There we go. Of course, I've got nowhere to space anything up, so let's just put this stuff down. Wow, thank you. So let's get these out of the way. In fact, let's try and get two at a time going, because 27 of these is going to take a few seconds to get them at least open. So, of course, you can get more as you go through there putting down process let's get rid of these I probably want the fish because I'm probably going to need that now six so of course this is basically we can the reason I'm doing this is I want to be sure I've opened them all um, because they're all individual at the moment when you actually when you've opened them they're not they're different that's all. How many have we got to go now? Another whole load. And these contain some interesting stuff. We'll have a look at this. Basically, this is what's going to give us diamond level armor very early game. Because we are still fairly early game, aren't we? So, so look. that's three rows. Let's do. Let's go back over here and do nine. I wish I could put these down faster, but there we are. Stand up on it here. And the last three. Now, I don't know what we're going to get out of this lot, I will be honest with you. But we'll get uh, 
So look, so here we have all of these items here. So we basically get messages in the bottle, driftwood, uh, algae, and these. So we've got a Neptune sword, which is basically 10 attack damage already. Not a bad sword. Next one. This time we've got uh, a shovel. And again, they get the same stuff out of these. So we've got now we've got a, sh a shovel, which is also a pretty good tool. Uh, and now we've got what a pickaxe, a hoe. Okay, it looks like a pickaxe, but it's actually a hoe. So, and if we have a look at the stats on these, I think I'm not sure if we can see whether they're broken to start with or what the levels are. But I think it's something like 2,500. And here we have a chest plate. In fact, we might as well put that on, mightn't we? So, let's put the chest plate on. And you'll see that I've already got four shields for that one chest plate. And then this time we've got a bow. And some ball bits and pieces. Again, the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. I did empty that one out, didn't I? Yes. And we've got another sword. I'm hoping that we'll get a full set of armour out of this. Here we've got a helmet. It's great too. I'll sort that out and move it down. Let's put the helmet on. See, it tells us three, two, two more armor toughness plus three armor. So that's um, now we've got up to five and a half, is it? Yep. Yeah. Another helmet. It's funny, it's very random what you get here. Another helmet. That's pretty unusual actually, because when I was doing my test world, I only got one helmet out of all of them. Now we've got a pickaxe. What have we got in this time? Now we've got some ingots so we can actually repair and make our own stuff with that one. Some more ingots. This time we've got four. So at least we can make something we haven't got if we don't get it. Now we've got leggings. Great. And we'll put those on as well. And hopefully we'll get some boots. So I thought I could take everything out of there. No, nope, didn't take anything out of this one. What do I get in that one? Dumped that one out. This one I've got a axe. Doing fairly well with all the different different things we've got. Another axe. Another chest plate. Hopefully we'll get some boots. Not this time. Another pickaxe. Another shovel, isn't it? This one. Another hoe. There are a few more things we can get. There's a filleting knife, another bow. That's quite good start. Another hoe. Gosh, I hope we're going to get a, what we need. Another axe. Another pair of leggings. Another helmet. We haven't got any boots yet, have we? Another bow. Let's get one more. And hopefully with that one more we can... Did I not pick it up? And the last one, a filleting knife. So we did get the last, almost the last one of these, but we haven't got. Um, let's put the bucket. Let's go and get rid of this stuff and put those buckets away over here. Wait, I guess of course I can't pick that up because I've got no inventory space. So let's come along here and then I've put the stuff into that oven tile. Let's put anything in here. No, it's, it'll be in this. They will be in this test. I press shift and click it in there. We can basically get everything. So now we're going to put what we had into that one in here. So I'll just click this across like this and then take out these items out of here. So a hoe, a shovel, and uh, maybe an axe would be a good thing to take with us. So we got a pickaxe and maybe an axe. Good things to keep. We'll put the fishing rod back in here. And I've still got some more bits and pieces I don't want in my inventory here. Driftwood bottles. So that's already filled up this chest. I need to get rid of this driftwood. And then we can take everything out of here again. Like that. And suffer the consequences. Now I should be able to pick up this. And I should also be able to pick up the... If they haven't despawned. Which they have done. The other items. How much space have I got? Mine? Plenty, right? So it was basically simply pick up, act, or just um, or excavate these chests away like that. And I picked up the, and then I got the filleting knife. So we've done pretty well. Just didn't quite get the boots. So we we can make the boots with all of those um, things. It's come to night time again, so we shall 
not that we still don't have any food, uh, sleeping capability. I still haven't got a bed, so maybe time to go and get a bed. Um, what did I want to do here? I wanted to make some boots, didn't I? So we'll make some boots, and we can always go fish. We can always go again. Oops! You see, I'm taking some damage because of this thing. Um, I want to come in here. We'll have a quick look in here as well. You'll see I've got 56 iron in here. We'll put those back. Take those across. Those chunks in there will make dust for us, and then we can put the dust. I've been putting the stuff into here, so you already see I've got 61 iron in there and 12 dust, so it's working quite well. What we're going to do today is go and visit this village because it would be nice to be able to trade with some of these guys. And I could put that stuff into here. So we've got some gravestone dust, which allows us in part to do. Um, What's it allow us to do? It basically allows us to make graves. And then with those graves, we can then teleport with these tablets. So I'll have to eat before I get too damaged. Of course, with the fish, we can cook the fish. And then reasonably quickly, we should be able to get our health back again because they, they're quite good in terms of food. So what else have I got on me? Yep. <laughs> can I get rid of anything else with what I've got on me that I don't want? I want to make some boots, isn't I? Let's, let's do the boots. And then well, let's put those on. So now you can see we got our ten hearts, so or ten shields, and we also have some toughness as well because of the because of the, the tools that we've got. Now what we can do, of course, with these, we could then enchant them. I think they're enchantable items we've got in here. Let's just sort my inventory out here. So we've got these twenty-seven Neptune bounty chests, which are which are treated just like chests, so we can use these as chests. But they're probably a little bit on the expensive side. If you look at the recipe for that. You've got uh, basically eight ingots of Neptune, uh, Neptunium ingots, which you can't in fact craft. There's no recipe for crafting those, except for making them from blocks or blasting out. Oh, we could actually do yes, yes, we could do this. We could take some of the stuff that we don't need and put it through the the blast furnace and get our end ingots back back again. That might be useful to do. We'll see. And then I've got to process these items out of the way. So right, <clears throat> today what I'd like to do, other than go to the village, well, oh, we have to open up these, have I? Let's have a look. So let's just sort our inventory here so we've got everything. See, these are now sorted out. So here we've got a, a village, another village, another village. In fact, they're all at the same village, that's a bit weird. <laughs> and these sounds we don't know what they are in, at the moment. That's a bit unusual. I'm a bit surprised we see. So 350 blocks away, there is a village. So we could we should be able to teleport there with these, but we can't at the moment because we've got no grave. And we've got to wait for these to to give us a bit of pain. Right, that'll do. Interesting. I wonder if that's just working when we're doing stuff. So I wanted to open up these. We've got these items in here. So we've got a treasure chest. So I open that up, we get received, and what you can see here, I got a gold ingot for that one. Let's do the next one. I got two gold ingots. I got three gold ingots. So you get a gold ingot for each one of those. And a lockbox, let's have a look what we get for the lockbox. We get a book. Ah, okay, so now it's opened up that. We get a flower. We get two flowers. We get something else. So what else we got? A piece of paper. An iron ingot, so we get all sorts of things from these uh, lock boxes. Gunpowder. Oh, a clock. Oh, fantastic. Now that is a useful thing to get. Because it tells us what time of day it is, which is. I was going to make one anyway, but so that saves me that. What did we get this time? Um, another piece of paper. Another clock. Ah, oh, fantastic. Even better. If you think about it, that's a bit worth four pieces of. Uh, Gold plus an, plus um we need those for later on I guess four pieces of gold plus redstone that's good that's a good good tool good present so to speak and then we get a golden apple even better about that we get eight pieces of gold for that one and we get some good health so I'll put that away as well I should have put that away I'll put it in here for time until I sort everything out so then that's that lot and then we have these which is boxes and then you get less stuff in it's like sticks boots leather boots wow. 
<laughs> I need to get rid of some of this stuff as it happens. I want the lock box. We'll see what we got in those. Let's just move everything. I want this. I want the torches here. So we'll I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put it, everything up there. Then we can see what we get. Leather, gravel. Is that? Well, what's, what have we got there? Anthracite gravel and tall grass. Okay. Wood. Flint. Clay, bones, what's that plank of what? Spruce logs. And finally some dark oak logs. So there's all sorts of things there. Now we've actually got two more things. So we found a monument depicts a different place and another village. This one's the same village as all of the others. Oh that's a bit strange. A bit useless though, isn't it, when we get the same village? In fact I think it's let's have a look. Where is that village? Um so I've got diamonds marked there, which I haven't shown yet, I don't think. Let's go and have a look at those. First of all, I'll have to sort out my inventory. I'll come back in a few seconds. When I've sorted out my inventory. Oh, I think that'll do. <clears throat> I think it's daytime again. Good. Let's have a look, press the head on the map, and see if we've got any mobs around. There's one over there. We're going to go this direction. Uh, we're going to see if we can find the village. <clears throat> in fact, I know there's a village here, so we'll have a go at finding that one. There's a creeper. I don't want to see him. And there'll probably be some mobs around here. I haven't got any um, arrows with me, which is probably a mistake. In fact, you know, I'm making another mistake. There's something else we should make before we go to a village. Has that mob disappeared? There's something dropped over here I can see. No, it's still over there. Oh, it'll probably be a chicken egg. There'll probably be one over here that doesn't a chicken egg, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> so right, what do I want to make? Let's have a look what this guy's actually offering because I haven't checked what he's got on offer. So he's got one of these amazing pickaxes, axes, sharpness 10, looting 5. So you, it would be well worth getting it. Look at that. Bone splitter, 14.5 damage for 30 emeralds. Actually, that isn't such a bad price. But we haven't got any emeralds, so, so I'll forget about that for the time being. What I was going to make is we've got here, I think we've got some Inferium. We've got 35 inferium in here, and we should also have some seeds. Ordinary seeds, yes we have. And I'm hoping that we can make a inferium watering can. Let's have a look. Uh, can't th oh, here we go. An inferium watering can. So we need basically, oh, we can't do it yet. We haven't got any mystical fertilizer. Um, and we just need a watering can. Now, watering can we probably can do because it's one bone meal on one bowl. Now, that isn't too difficult. We should have some wood in this chest here. Let's just take a piece of wood out of that. Bone meal we can get from this one. We can put this, I think, so maybe we can put it through the crusher. I don't think we can. No, we just have to craft it. Let's give us three bone meal. There is another way to make bone meal, which we'll come to later on, I think. And we use the... Right, I want one of those. Let's get these out of here. Let me use a compost that we can make bones that way. So let's drag that across like that and then bring it down. And we've got a bowl. So, bowl, and then we need some iron. Which is in here. How much iron do we need? I think four. Take the whole lot. And we'll make the watering can. So we have a watering can. Now, the reason I want to make the other ones is that they will make the crops grow so fast. It's just it's sort of unbelievable how fast they make the crops grow. Let's put these in. No, full up. Let's put these down in here somewhere. Don't need those. Don't need that. Don't need the bone mill. And I don't need the wooden balls. Not a very good place to put them, but we'll come to that later on. So we'll fill this up. And now that close the door otherwise he's going to try and get inside and that should now be f filled it is make sure that that creeper's disappeared which he has and I have got to make something else and I've forgotten to do that already not doing very well today am I so what I want to do now is I want to make a pair of shears
Now these aren't Minecraft shears, but they're the same recipe. These are apotheosis shears. Uh, and I think the difference is you can enchant these. Same recipe. We've got another one of these. Oh, the uses of these basically is string. So if you look up the uses of that, you can make nine threaded, or you can basically craft it with a spindle. Spindles aren't very expensive. Basically, a couple of pieces of wood and um, a trip wire hook, which is another piece of iron, and a, piece of, a couple of sticks, that's it. Um, and then the uses, let's go back to the end, the uses of that. And the uses of these, they're basically um, the same as wood. So you can make looms and you can make fishing rods with those. Same thing. Not you can't do everything, I don't think, but you can make these canvas from blue power and the uses of that you can make a big sack. So so they're worth having. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I haven't looked at what it looks like with the, the new armor on, so press, let's press escape and do a five and see what it looks like from around the different sides, I guess. <laughs> and all this armor is pretty good for um underwater stuff so we don't get slowed down by going through water. Anyway, let's carry on, go off to the village. Before I run out of time. Because <laughs> what I also wanted to do this episode was to set up some turtles. But I think today we shall go off to the village and we want to get some vegetables and things prepared. There's a horse over there, we've got plenty of saddles. In fact, it might well be worth getting on our horse if we can. Yeah, thanks. We've got to do it with an empty hand, of course. You can't ride a horse without an empty hand. I've got to be careful I don't hit him to get off to knock the grass down. Take quite a long time to get a horse. But you get there in the end. I have to persist a bit. I didn't bring a saddle with me, so that's probably a waste of time. I'll tell you what, we'll carry on to the village. <laughs> I won't waste any more time. In fact, it's this way. In fact, you should be able to even see the village fairly early on. And there's, there's flowers here. You see, I marked it with a V. I haven't actually been here in this episode yet. In this, well, but I did it in the test world, and I just copied the waypoints across. So you see, the whole bunch of sunflowers, very useful to have. Now, what we do need is some sheep to get a bed. There we go. There's a village already in view. What I really want to get from here is just have a quick look at it. Oh. I say, and see how many villages we've got and what crops they've got because here we've got a leather worker so he's going to give me leather pants for three emeralds which isn't great for us at the moment because we want the other way around. And here we have oh some sheep great let's get those shears and so going to those sheep that's two of course we've got this mod in this pack that allows us to jump over fences i got five sheep from that what have we got down here unemployed guys okay but we've got enough unemployed guys to actually do some work good over here's a couple of farms i'm surprised they are unemployed oh no these farms are worked you can see This village is looking reasonably healthy. But I wonder who's working these farms, because I don't see any farmers here. Oh, what we got over here? That's a nitwick, huh? Oh, yep, yeah, nitwick, no use. <clears throat> it's a bit strange that they have got no. So what we got in here? The chest. Ah, oh, some food in it, some bread in it, and some apples. That took a long time to click through. Don't need anything from there though. I've got um, another bed in here, let's have a look. A little bit of exploring around this place. Oh, we've got a, 
A claret, oh, there's a couple of farmers. So now we're talking 26 potatoes for him, and the other one is unemployed. Okay, and 15 beetroot. So what we're going to do, let's have a look down here. There may be another farm in here. They don't like you pinching their crops. Wheat seeds, potatoes. We can take a potato, actually. Do I get one potato? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll see if the watering can makes this grow faster. It does indeed. Look at the speed of that. So now I've got two potatoes. What else have we got down here? This looks like carrots. Are great. We'll take some carrots with us too. I'm just holding down the right, the right button here. It should pick up the crops. What else have we got? Wheat seeds, carrots, wheat seeds. Because later on we get the inferior stuff, then things will go very fast. Right, wheat seeds, carrots. I'm hoping to see a beetroot, but it's coming up to night time, I can tell. So we better get out of here, otherwise the villagers will get uh, hurt. So there's a bed around here, maybe we can sleep in one of these beds if it's not occupied. What time is it? Yes, maybe it's too Oh, no, we can sleep. Good. So we've got the advancement of sweet dreams because we slept in the first bed. <laughs> How about that then? So this is a cleric, isn't it? A librarian. So he's the one that gives you enchanted books. True Shot 2. Well, that's pretty good. Not actually fairly expensive in comparison to the others. So have we got anything else in this village that's would help us. So here's a also know the helmets we don't need those, we can leave those here. That's for the leather worker I guess. Some more potato oh, I didn't need to make those potatoes. We've got potatoes and bread in there. We'll leave that. Actually we can take that with us because we've already got this stuff at home so no big deal. unemployed building by the looks of it and then we come back again and in fact base is straight on what's our position here minus 240 512 is the village we saw wasn't it is this this village 6453 might well be this village where is it? the center of the village is that square isn't it I think the well is a centre. <laughs> Brilliant. Now these guys, I don't think they can get out of there, can they? <laughs> so they're not going to do much good. Probably turn into non unemployed villages. I think this is 512 is here. 70 and 60, and I can't remember what the coordinates. We didn't bring them with us, so I didn't bring them with us. That was the leather worker. We've spoken to him. But what we're going to do now is grow a lot of potatoes and then we can go do some trading with that farmer. If he's still a farmer, he might not be, of course, by the time we get back. In fact, there's probably no point in doing this. I'll see you when I'm back in, back at base. Well, I'm back. There's two mobs just beside me, but they're not. Just going to finish off doing this. That's three. That's three layers back. So we've got to four. So that's that way. In that direction, and then one, two, three, four in this direction. I'm not going to plant wheat in this. We'll leave this for the vegetables we've got. So one, two, three, four. I've already said I'm not going to do plant eight because, to be honest with you. It's very slow mod and it's a lot of hard work. I suspect maybe later on it would be actually quite a good thing to do. Because it might have fairly high result returns through it. Oops, broken. Okay, never mind. Let's plant some. we got potatoes in this corner, carrots in this corner. Let's plant some beetroot over here. Inferior, I haven't got another seed for that yet. But it's coming up to night time, so we'll give these a quick water. 
watch them grow. And you can also see that you, this this watering can also gets rid of the ground uh, aut automatically. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Gets the ground sort of into farmland. I better get into better get into base. And the builders have just started knocking on the floor. I think they're doing doing up the road or something like that. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, next time we're going to do some turtles and get those turtle mining turtles to actually start to dig up some of the ores. I did find diamonds anyway. In, well, I found it in the test world. And they, exist, they exist in the same place in this world too, which is also good. Um, so until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.